Hello, I'm David from Eden Motor Group, and this is the new Vauxhall Grandland. And isn't it a looker? So according to my boss, this is a minor facelift. And I'm a little bit worried about that because if my wife had gone in for a minor facelift into a surgeon's office and came out looking like this, I think I'd be worried every time she went to the pub. It really is like the mocha has been put on a year long diet and a training regime with Chris Hemsworth. It's grown up, it's bulkier, it's really a rather nice style choice. When it comes to specification though, you have the design, the GS line, and of course the ultimate. Vauxhall have simplified the range and that makes things even more intriguing. There are hybrid versions as well. Those come in at the GS line and ultimate models and give you an even more powerful engine electric motor combination. Speaking of which, you have a choice in the standard car of a 130 PS petrol or a 130 PS diesel motor. That'll get you along just fine. And in fact, it's a rather smooth engine too. The hybrid, however, will give you a 225 PS engine, obviously working alongside that electric motor and an eight speed automatic gearbox. The design at the time of recording starts at a mere £25,810 and obviously there are colour options and various bits and pieces available as well. So you are actually getting quite a lot of machine for your money, which is nice. The design comes with the usual specification, so the infotainment system, auto wipers, 17-inch alloy wheels. You get things like a heated windscreen as standard too. There's a smorgasbord of safety equipment as well, electronic stability program and ABS obviously, traction control systems, you get six airbags, you get high beam assist as well. You get something called solar absorbing windows. Now that might not sound very interesting, but actually is kind of a great idea. It absorbs UV light, which will help prevent the dashboard and various bits of the interior warping over time if it's left in heat. That should help reliability and longevity of the cars in the future. It means Vauxhall of forward thinking, which is nice. Preserving the reliability of a car for the future is something that I can always get behind. It means that cars aren't a disposable item and Vauxhall obviously have this brilliant mentality as well. Then moving over to the GS line, which is basically what we're in today, you get 18 inch wheels, you get a reversing camera too, you get tinted windows and an upgraded 10 inch display. There are a few more bits and pieces to this, but we'll move on to the ultimate. That's where you start getting things like Intellilux headlights, special type of LED headlights. I've seen them, they are magnificent. You get front heated seats and a 360 degree camera as well. You get 19 inch Iron Man alloys, which sound rather exciting to be honest with you, and they look good too. You get gloss black roof rails, wireless charging, a special type of leatherette and Alcantara blend on the seat. It really is the ultimate version of the car. So there's a lot of car for your money on show, which is good news because I really like this car. As I've been driving along, the thing 
wafts, and I don't mean uncontrollably wafts, I mean it's a really nice place to sit. I have a particularly bad back, and it's born from just years of sitting in chairs and making video content, and unfortunately, certain seats and cars do set it off, and in this one, I've been driving it for a while now, and my back is absolutely fine. In this one, not a worry. My back is not stiffening up. I'm not feeling kind of stretched out and tired as I normally do if I get into a car that doesn't have particularly nice seats or suspension. The gearbox as well feels rather nice. As I said, we're in the 130 PS petrol version of the vehicle and actually shifts rather nicely. You can kind of gently change gear. It's a really nice light clutch. The steering is nice, but it's got some feel through it as well. Nice and light, I should say, but has some feeling through it too. Got dual zone climate control on this one. I've got it set to a lovely 14 degrees, and if I wanted to bring my wife along for my drive, then she can be at her usual burning 28 degrees. There's cubby holes everywhere in the car as well. Never once have I thought, oh man, I'm in, I'm in need of more space. It uses the space inside the vehicle intelligently. Perhaps best of all though, is that the interior is really nice and simple. There's no buttons that are machine gunned everywhere, just the buttons for the things you want. The climate control, the cruise control, the volume indicators, etc., etc. It's not overdoing it, which means that you're never scrambling around, looking around, looking away from the road. It's a really good piece of design overall. And then you see yourself in the shop window and you remind yourself that you're driving a Vauxhall that looks absolutely stunning. With the Mocha that came out last year, this car that's come out now and projections as to what they're going to look like in the future, Vauxhall are going to have a seriously strong lineup of gorgeous looking cars. It's as simple as that. But that's enough of that. Let's do the old spin the camera around and go on a virtual test drive. So here we are in the new Grandland. Beautiful digital gauge cluster, love that. I can see the entire thing through the steering wheel, which is quite often an issue with any gauge cluster, let alone a digital one, and it works really, really well. Sat-nav screen over there, partitioned at exactly the right amount so that the steering wheel doesn't block the sat-nav screen. As I said before, the layout of the car is, well, it, it just makes sense. Everything is exactly where you'd expect it to be. The controls for the infotainment system, the controls for the heating. You never feel like you're in a massive bus either. Despite the car being a nice big car, you don't feel like you're in a big car and that's actually quite a good achievement. Flat bottom steering wheel, again, love these, but rounded at the top. Feels exactly as it should do. Now 130 PS may not sound like a lot, but pulling out there, I never felt like I was in any sort of immediate danger whatsoever. So obviously it's the right balance for the car, it's good. And if I do want to go, I just drop down into third gear and then away we go. So it does, uh, <laughs> it's just the right amount, the Goldilocks effect, I love it. And as I said before, when driving along, very, very comfortable. I'm not being joggled around. I'm not having to go back into my GoPro that's strapped to my head and go, do you know what? I'm gonna really need to adjust horizon leveling and auto stabilization and everything. I can just strap it to my head and go without having to worry about any of that stuff because it's so comfortable. And obviously because it rides well. Mirrors are great. I can see down the entire length of the car in them. Same with the other mirror as well. Worth noting because sometimes you get in cars with wing mirrors and then you can't see down the length of the car and then it's like, well, why, why even have mirrors there, to be honest with you? Not the case in this one though, which is nice. As well as, like I said, even though it's got a simple layout, that actually makes this a really nice place to be because you're not scrambling around looking for things. My lights are over here, my wipers here, my indicators here, my infotainment screen is there. There's not a row of buttons. Instead, that we've got this, this little cubby hole with uh, a USB and a 12 volt in it. I imagine that's in, I don't know this obviously, but I imagine in the ultimate, that's where the wireless charger would go because everything in this car makes sense. You've got this nice carbon look across the dash as well. But don't take my word for it. Why don't you come on over and have a drive yourself? So don't forget to get in contact. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, if you have any questions, don't forget to give us a ring on the number on screen right now. Or of course, you can send us an email. Thank you for watching.